Bananas are the number one most consumed fruit worldwide and the most exported fruit globally, with over 100 billion bananas eaten each year. But did you know that bananas aren't grown on trees? Bananas grow on a herb plant rather than a tree, because the plant does not have a woody trunk. Banana plants are actually perennial herbs grown from a large rhizome, which is a stem that sends out roots and shoots from its nodes, just like bamboo. The trunk of a banana plant is not woody like a tree, instead the trunk is made of banana plant leaves wrapped tightly around each other, resembling a trunk. This structure is essentially a series of overlapping stalks that form a nearly hollow tube and can grow to a tree-like size to over 5 meters in a single season, which is 9 to 12 months. Each plant grows one bunch of bananas per year, and each bunch can be made of up to 200 bananas, which are grouped in double row clusters, and each cluster consists of 10 to 20 bananas. When harvested, the clusters are usually cut into smaller hands of 5 to 7 bananas for easier packing. So let's go through each stage of farming bananas, from preparing the land, to planting, harvesting and processing. Like with most forms of farming a plant, the first thing that needs to be done is prepare the soil by clearing the area of any weeds, rocks, or debris from the planting site. This helps reduce competition for nutrients and allows the roots and shoots to grow unimpeded. Once the land has been cleared and prepared, comes the planting of the banana plants. Once this process has been complete, irrigation lines will be laid along the base of each plant row. Now, depending on the farms and their harvesting techniques, some farms harvest by hand and load onto nearby trucks, and other farms harvest on a cable system. These cable systems are commonly known as aerial tramways or aerial ropeways, which take harvested bananas from the field to processing facilities. During the planting stage, this cable system will be set up ready for harvest time. It takes 9 to 12 months for the plants to mature and bear fruit ready for harvesting. During this stage, various methods of maintenance will be done on the plants, such as weeding, fertilizing, and pest management, but also removing dead or damaged leaves regularly to maintain the plant's health. Pruning can also help improve air circulation around the plants and reduce the risk of disease. During the fruiting stage, the banana bunches will be bagged, typically after the bananas have formed, but while they are still green and unripe, there are several reasons why farmers bag bananas, as it helps protect them from pests, such as fruit flies, thrips, and birds, plus the bag acts as a physical barrier preventing pests from damaging or laying eggs on the fruit. It also protects them from physical damage caused by rubbing against each other or against the plant. This helps maintain the appearance and quality of the fruit. The bags are usually ventilated with holes, and the top of the bags are left slightly open to help prevent moisture buildup which causes mold. Once the bananas are ready, harvesting is typically done early in the morning or late in the afternoon, when temperatures are cooler. This helps reduce the risk of sunburn on the harvested fruit. At this stage, they may also put foam pads between the banana rows to protect them from rubbing during the trip to the processing factory. The actual harvesting is usually a two-man job. One man clears the way by cutting away branches and leaves, and then cuts the tree to make it bend over, and then the banana bunch is cut from the tree and laid on the shoulder of the picker. The picker then either transports the bunch back to a waiting harvest truck or places it on a chain on the cable system. Once the truck is full, it will drive the banana bunches back to a processing facility for cleaning and packing. 
If the plantation is using a cable system, once they have attached all the bunches it can carry, it will drive along the cable line back to the facility. When the banana bunches arrive at the processing factory, the banana layers are cut from the stalk and placed in a cleaning bath to remove the excess latex that's naturally found on bananas. A gentle current in the water moves the bananas down the line for further quality control checks and then cut into clusters of five to seven fingers. As the bananas move down the line, they have brand stickers placed upon them and the ends that have been exposed after cutting are treated to maintain freshness. Further down the line, the bananas are packed into boxes lined with a perforated material. This allows for the bananas to breathe and ripen on their journey to stores. Depending on the location of the processing plant, the boxes are either transported to local stores or packed into shipping containers and shipped around the world.